Facts First presents Brave Soldier Jumps on Grenade to Save Fellow Marine and is Awarded Medal of Honor. Show your support for our men and women in uniform by clicking that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. The soldiers who enlist in the United States military make a huge sacrifice for their country. They leave their friends and family members behind to head off to train and, in some cases, to battle. When soldiers enlist, they understand there are no guarantees that they will make it home uninjured or even alive. The fact that these soldiers know the risks and still join the military it makes them heroes before ever going into battle. William Kyle Carpenter enlisted in the United States Marines shortly after graduating from high school. At the age of 21, he earned the rank of Lance Corporal. In 2010, like many members of the military, he was sent to war in Afghanistan, and he was ready to go and understood the risks when getting there. While there, William and his fellow soldiers were sent to a town that was under fire. During the fight, the enemy threw a grenade right by William and his fellow soldier. William made a split-second decision to save his fellow soldier's life. Without thinking about his own safety or his life, he jumped on the grenade using his body as a shield to save his friend's life. His decision did save his friend's life, but it put him at risk. William saved the life of his fellow Marine, but he suffered severe and devastating injuries in the process. His body was riddled with shrapnel. Many of his bones in his face and skull were shattered. He ended up losing part of his jaw, his lungs collapsed, and he was declared patient expired on arrival, or PEA, when he arrived at the hospital at Camp Bastion. The doctors there thought he didn't have a chance, but somehow William survived, and over the next two years he had to undergo over 40 surgeries. Because of his bravery, William was awarded the Purple Heart, which is a tremendous honor in the military. President Barack Obama awarded him the Medal of Honor, which is the most prestigious honor any soldier in the military can receive. On the seventh anniversary of his heroic act, William posted a photo on Instagram. The photo showed him and the scars that he suffered during the attack. He's also holding his medal. He added a caption to the photo that read, Seven years ago today, I was bleeding out on top of a dusty roof in Afghanistan. As I laid there, struggling for air, I thought about my family, said a prayer, and let the world and life fade away. Seven years later, I'm so thankful and appreciative for every second I've been given. From the moment I woke up in the hospital to today, I'm equally as thankful for the people that have been there ever since. To my family, my friends, my doctors, my medics, and my Marines, thank you for always loving and supporting me. You've helped me heal and make me into who I am today, and for that I will forever be grateful. Due to the severity of William's injuries, he was no longer able to serve in the military, which is a tough thing for any soldier to hear. But William understood that his time in the military had come to an end. He knew he had a long road ahead of him for recovery, so he accepted his fate. The Army listed him as honorably discharged, which means that he performed service in an honorable fashion and his time in the military was ended on a positive note. When Williams was healed, he decided that it was time to move on to the next phase of his life. He applied to the University of South Carolina, where he was accepted, and today he is studying for his degree. This was always his post-military plan, but he never expected to end up in college like this. William never expected to find himself in college scarred both physically and emotionally, but he says that he is thankful. Each time he walks on campus, he's happy that he's able to walk at all and that he's alive. William says that although he is scarred and he lives with what happened that day in Afghanistan, he wouldn't change a thing. He says he doesn't regret the sacrifice he made that day because his fellow soldier was able to live another day. He was able to go home to his family and friends, and it was William who made that possible. He says it was a long road, but it was all worth it. He believes that it was his destiny to save his fellow soldier that day. Show your support for William by clicking that like button and subscribe for more.